back on Morning Drive. It's the road to Augusta National and a lucky one for many junior golfers who will be there based on the regional qualifying at Riviera Country Club. What a beautiful spot it is. And this is a very beautiful shot by Megan Amandi. She is in the girls' 14 to 15 division, a solid putt winner of her division. And yes, she qualified for Augusta National. But how about Carter Gady, boys 7 to 9, and his putt? To make it happen, winner of his division, most points in the putting category. He, too, is headed to Augusta National. Liam Hartling, boys 10 to 11, this solid drive. How good are these kids? He won his division. He had the most points in the chipping category. He, too, will be headed to that staged area. Christina Zhu, girls 7 to 9, her drive. She was the winner of her division as she qualified for Augusta. And Evan Sheehan, boys 12 to 13, his dad smiling on, watching his son perform as he earned the most points with that drive qualifying for such an elite field and an esteemed event really for all junior golfers but get this Mason Quagliata his quote caught me by surprise I'm extremely excited because Augusta is one of the nicest courses in the country and so much history has happened there I'm also excited because next year I will be too old to compete so I wouldn't have another chance best of luck to all of those regional qualifiers from Riviera Country Club and truly all of the competitors who will be there in that field and Charlie Reimer you were there for the first three years, and, and it's not just something that's fun to watch, you were telling me. It's important to the game of golf. It, it really is. I think it's the most important day of golf for, really? for the entire year because this is absolutely working. Uh, the, the, the leading bodies in golf, Augusta National, the PGA of America, the USGA, they are coming together in this true partnership. And, and are, are you kidding me to have kids show up and <laughs> participate and play on, on uh, uh, the grounds at Augusta National, go down to 18 green and hit a putt? There's nothing like it in, in all of sport. And we're seeing kids respond to it. We're seeing the number of entries go up. We're seeing kids get into the game that might not have gotten yeah. into the game otherwise. And that's what we do this for. And it all leads to the Holy Grail of Augusta National. But how about those qualifying sites? I mean, those are beautiful, too. Yeah. So many great golf courses are stepping up to the plate. I mean, look, look at this list. Uh, you got Hazeltine. We just had the Ryder Cup. Pinehurst, PBC Sawgrass, Medina, Baltus. I mean, these are major venues uh, for, for the regionals. Uh, kids advance from these spots to Augusta National. I just love the fact that great golf courses are lining up and saying, I want to participate. Mm -hmm. Now, there's a few players that you've been keeping your eyes on. Alexa Pano, she is one of them. She's competed, in, in fact, in this event two times. This coming April will be her third. How hard is that it's to get that done? It's unbelievable. And she's the only competitor to make it three times. Wow. So so now what you have to do is you got you got to go through a local, three kids in each age division, make it from there to the sub-regional, mm -hmm. two make it from the sub-regional to the regional, and only one from the regional to Augusta National. To, to qualify three times, <laughs> I mean, that, that is to unbelievable to me. Yeah, very